close your eyes and try to stay anchored in the breath. In the Pali, one of the symbols for a well-trained mind is a stone pillar, 16 spans tall, 8 spans buried in the ground. No matter which direction the wind comes from, the stone pillar doesn't quiver or shake. Of course, the eight directions that the wind could come from those stand for the eight ways of the world as gain, loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. Our minds get blown around by these things if we're not trained. But if it's well trained, we can live in the world and not get blown away. So it's important that you learn how to keep your mind anchored in the midst of all the things that come in. And it's not just things from outside that can blow the mind around. Your attitudes about things outside, your attitudes about things inside can blow you around as well. That's not the case that the wind always comes from one direction. As we see today, it keeps shifting directions. It starts swirling around. Sometimes all eight things come at once. You can't let yourself get disconnected from your foundation. So learn how to make the foundation something you really want to hold on to. Learn how to make the breath comfortable. Think of being fully grounded in the body, all the way down to the t your hands, all the way down to your feet. You're in here. And then, as the Buddha said, when you reflect on other things, remember you've got what they call the four elements inside here, earth, water, wind, and fire. And they're not reactive. Someone says something, you ask yourself, is the earth reacting? No. Is the wind, the fire, the water? No. All these things are just staying as they are. Why is it that the body suddenly gets all these heartbeats pounding in its here, and this tightness in its throat, tightness in the stomach, tightness in the chest? It's because of the mind. It's the mind's reaction. The body is perfectly okay. But the mind reaction gets it out of in disorder, and then when the body is in disorder, you don't want to stay here. So you've got to learn how to train the mind. And we do that by focusing on the breath, giving it a good, solid place to stay, where it can learn a few lessons from what it's like to be solid. That way we can live in this world and not be blown around by it. Otherwise, who knows where you're going to end up? Our problem is that our mind is usually not like a stone pillar. It's like a big sailboat with big sails. Our ears are open up wide to catch everything that's said. Our eyes are open up wide to catch everything that's happening. Now, the Buddha's not telling you not to see and not to hear, but learn how not, not to catch these things as they come in. Let them pass. Let them pass. Take only what's good and leave the rest for whoever else is in another direction. We can't stop the people of the world from doing horrible things, but we can, get, we can learn how to keep our mind from getting upset by these things, it's, to say nothing of other people, even your own body. There are a lot of things your body does that are out of control, but you have to realize that okay, the mind doesn't have to be affected by that. The mind is, can be something separate if you train it. We take the body as our foundation. as a beginning step, but eventually we want to get the mind so it's okay on its own. But for that, it has to be anchored right here. So make sure that the anchor is strong and that your connection to the anchor is strong as well. Then you find that there's a sense of well-being that comes from within that things outside cannot touch. <laughs>